Hello and welcome. Say this with me. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. This is Pastor Jim. I am glad to be with you today. I want to talk to you right now about deliverance from the Python spirit of debt. This is going to be good, huh? Hallelujah. Hey, go to my website, increasenow.com. My phone number is there. Call me. If you need help with this debt, if you are being crushed by debt, then call me. Let me help you with this. We can get this handled for you. Amen. I know how to do this. Amen. I do it all the time. Glory to God, huh? <clears throat> also, if you need prayer for anything, call me. When you do your offerings and donations today, to help us send this message around the world, be sure and call me because I want to speak the blessing over you. The word for word blessing. Look who's here. Come say hello. Look at this. Is this a package or what? Huh? Look Good who's morning. here. This is my entourage. What you doing out here in the weather? I'm out here because I didn't want to wake everybody in the house up. Oh, well, I'm awake. And the wind is blowing, it's raining off and on, the dog's running around, and here she is. Huh? With, with wet paws, I can with feel. With wet paws, she's jumping on you right now. Okay. We're talking about the python spirit of debt. Ooh. A python, what does a python do? Squeeze. Yeah. He's, were we squeezed by debt? No. We were crushed we were, by my debt. Goodness, look at how windy it is. Yes. Well, we're gonna talk. We're gonna talk about that today. Go ahead. Absolutely. Go ahead. Okay. I have a merry minute for you today. You know, um, the the little the theme of a little red uh, truck is really popular this year for Christmas, and I can I see it coming through the counter when I'm at work. And I think, you know, that reminds me of my dad because he used to have a little pickup truck that was red. And I thought, you know, a lot of things are symbols of days gone by. And I thought, you know, um, God wants us to remember his word. And he says in his word, put me in remembrance of my word. And I, I think to myself, you know, we need to remember things in a, a good way because he um, wants us to. And he knows that if we remember his word and bring his word up to him, that we remember it and it can change our life. Amen. Amen, huh? Is that good? She is leaving today. She's going to Wisconsin. Her nephew passed away. And so she's going up there for the funeral to be a blessing to everybody up there. Amen. Hey, I want to talk to you about the Python spirit of debt. Deliverance from this. A Python is something that grabs a hold. Sometimes very hard sometimes but when it wraps around it doesn't crush a person or an animal or whatever it grabs a hold of right away now pythons are something we know a lot about down here in florida we have somewhere in the neighborhood of 200,000 of these large snakes in the everglades down there people let them loose years ago and they multiply like crazy. They lay, I don't know how many eggs they lay every year, but hundreds of eggs and they multiply. And once they get large, they have no natural enemies. Even the big alligators, it takes a huge alligator to, to kill a python. So these, but these pythons eat small alligators. They eat all the birds, they eat the pigs, the deer, they eat everything. And the way they do it, is they get they get they wrap around and they slowly 
begin to squeeze. And that's how debt starts. Debt starts with a credit card. They give you a credit card with a two or $300 limit. Well, you charge a few things. Hey, that feels good, huh? How many of you know it always feels good when you're when something wraps around you at first? And this was beginning to wrap around you. And it feels good. And, and so next thing you know, well, they up your credit limit to $500. You're making your payments? Make a minimum payment, $20. Well, I can do that. How oh, you get to spend $500 and it only costs you 20 bucks. That's how people look at it. Next thing you know, you got $1,000, $2,000, 3000 4000 $5,000 limit. Next thing you know, you're owing 10 and then you get more credit cards. And the next thing you know, you got fifty, sixty, eighty thousand dollars worth of credit card debt. Now there's people out there, a lot of them, who have that kind of credit card debt. They call me all the time. Amen. And then it starts to squeeze. Now that's what happened with us. We actually came to Florida on our credit cards because we didn't have any money. Amen. I mean, we just we had very little money. We came and and the, and the credit card companies were so nice because not only did did they let us use the credit card, they would send us checks. We could cash a check. Cash a check for $1,000, $500. I said, hey, we got some cash. But it starts to squeeze. And believe, how many of you out there know what I'm talking about? Raise your hands. You do. It starts to squeeze. And next thing, it squeezes. Just like a python. This is a python spirit of debt. And it squeezes. And it squeezes. Then after a while, the credit card call companies are calling. When are you going to make a payment? Can you make a payment today? That's what happened to us. And I'm telling you what, folks. It was horrible. It was just absolutely horrible. This Python spirit of debt, it crushed. It was crushing. But we got some deliverance. Amen. The, there is supernatural deliverance from the Python spirit of debt. Debt crushes people. It destroys lives. You wouldn't believe how many phone calls I get about debt? I say, Pastor Jim, I am absolutely being crushed by this debt. Please help me. I realize that debt is a curse. It's a curse. The Bible says, oh, no man. Oh, no person. Amen. You don't owe anybody. You don't know, owe anybody anything but love. You owe love. Because God said that. But... Stay out of credit card debt. Now, I use a credit card right now. I use a credit card. I pay it off every week. Every week, I use it. I don't want to use uh, debit cards because I don't want to give anybody access to the balance in my bank account. Amen? So I use a credit card. Plus, you're more protected with a credit card. Amen. Somebody did get my credit card number. Was using my credit card. I, the bank called and said, whoa, there's some suspicious activity. They, they shut down my card. It was a hassle to get straightened out, but it did not cost me a penny. Glory to God. That's why I stay with the credit cards. I pay everything with a credit card. I pay it off every single week. We have no debt. No credit card debt. Next thing you know, you're buying a new car. You got $500 a month payments on your car. You buy a new house. You got two, $3,000 a month payments. Next thing you know, you know, your job gets in jeopardy. You get crushed by this debt. Oh my goodness, people. But there's a remedy. There's a remedy. Once we got a hold of this, five months later, I said to Mary, 
that lady that was just talking to you. I said, how much do we owe on our credit cards? And she said, nothing. I said, nothing? She said, no, nothing. I said, well, what happened? She says, I paid him off. I said, how did you do that? I mean, we, you wouldn't believe how much, I'm not even sure how much it was that we owed, but it was crushing. And now five months after we got a hold of this, after we took care of this deliverance, five months later, this debt is all gone? And I said, how did that happen? I said, where did the money come from to pay those off? Because we didn't get any big checks in the mail. She said, I don't know. I said, you don't know? She said, no, I can't, I couldn't tell. To this day, we don't know where the money came from but they got paid off, totally paid off. Because what we did was we broke the curse. We were delivered from the curse of the Python debt. I'm telling you what, folks, it was so simple, so simple to do. You call me today, I'll help you with this. I will do this for you, I will break that curse. I'll break that curse. Some Many times it's a generational curse. Most people who are in debt, their families are in debt. Their fathers, their grandfathers, their great-grandfathers, all in debt. We take care of that. We break that curse. We do deliverance from debt. Let me tell you something, folks. It takes me 10 seconds. This is not a long, drawn-out affair. Deliverance, if it's done right, is very quick done gone enjoy your life relax let it go away don't try to make it happen once i speak over you to break that curse that generational curse and that's and do that deliverance see all form of healing all form of of financial uh relief is a form of deliverance <clears throat> once we do that your debt will go away. I mean to tell you it goes away. I speak the blessing over you. The blessing will drive out the debt. I'm telling you what, it worked for Kenneth Copeland. Took him 11 months. Took us five months. Took somebody else I knew seven months. Sometimes it happens very quickly. All I know is that it will happen for you. You call me, go to my website, increasenow.com. Get a hold of me. Let me take care of this debt for you. Amen. Supernaturally. And believe me, folks, when I tell you this, and it won't cost you a penny. You're not going to have to send your money to some debt consolidation company. No, you just call me. It doesn't cost a penny. And I'll take care of it for you. I'll make a believer out of you. Amen. Glory to God. Hey, I'm out of time. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Share this video with everybody you know. I don't want anybody to be crushed with this Python spirit of debt. Let's get rid of it in your life and in everybody's life that you know. Turn everybody you know onto these videos. Amen. Call me if you need prayer. Share this video. Don't forget when you do your offerings and donations today, call me because I want to speak the blessing over you. Amen. Glory to God. Have a wonderful day. I love all of you very much, and I will see you right back here again tomorrow.